Good morning, I'm meteorologist Emily Mers. So far this morning, we're gonna be seeing some cooler temperatures moving in behind this cold front that moved through this morning. Brought us a couple of showers around the area, but not a whole lot of impact. We didn't really see any measurable rainfall totals in general around the area. A couple of us hanging on with temperatures just shy of 40 degrees right now. As we can see though, that does shift a little bit as we move further towards the west. Some of our places sitting in the 20s, Wyndham and Slayton both at 28 degrees right now. Our temperatures are expected to be in the low 40s today, right near average for this time of year. Tomorrow though, we're going to warm up just slightly, a lot of us reaching those temperatures closer to 50 degrees. And then as we approach the upcoming weekend, we're going to drop back into the 30s and we are seeing the indication that we're going to see some cooler than normal temperatures as we go into next week and even beyond that um, for the foreseeable future. We're also going to see some lows reaching the teens over the next couple of days. As we look on our radar and satellite right now, we're not really seeing a whole lot out there at the moment. We saw some showers move through this morning. They have since dissipated and kind of this color that we're seeing in the middle here is just going to be the radar interacting with treetops and things like that. So we're not actually seeing any precipitation on this side of our region um, anymore today. Rain chances as we go through the rest of the week are expected to be slim to none. We're going to be looking at dry weather through Thanksgiving and even into the weekend. We could be seeing a few showers or snow showers Sunday, Saturday night and Sunday morning. However, we're, those details are still a bit uncertain and as of now, we're not expecting much impact from that. Wind speeds are starting to pick up around the region. We're going to see winds close to around 30 miles an hour later on today. As we can see, our wind speeds expected to be um, closer to that 30 mile per hour mark for the next few hours before gradually going back to around normal as we go overnight. Like I mentioned, we're going to warm up a little bit tomorrow compared to what we would normally expect. Lows dropping into the 20s by later on tonight. It's going to be much cooler towards the end of the week. We're going to see those 30s lasting into the weekend and into next week too.